The reason crash diets are so popular is because they work and the results are instant. You can lose weight in as little as 7 days. The only problem is the success will be short-lived. Most people end up regaining the weight in just a few weeks or a few months. And that means crash diets are not ideal for long-term weight loss. But that doesn't mean you can't learn from crash diets. After all, people are having success with them, at least in the short term. And that means they are doing something right. So today I want us to look into what crash diets normally do right and ignore the rest. And hopefully you can take what they normally do right and apply it in your own diet. Let's dive right in. The first diet we are going to look into is 5 bite diet. Many people are not familiar with this diet but it has a very interesting concept. With this diet you are not allowed to eat breakfast. So you normally eat lunch and dinner. For breakfast you can take something like coffee or water or green tea. So for lunch and dinner you are only allowed to have 5 bites as the name suggests. Only 5 bites of whatever food you want. Same for dinner. And because of this, you're able to dramatically reduce your calorie intake and you're able to lose weight. So what can we learn from this diet? For me, the major takeaway is that you need to be conscious or aware of your bites. If you find that you're having too many bites in your meals, you're overeating. So you don't have to count your bites because that can lead to a, an eating disorder. The best thing that you can do is be aware and also you will realize that moderation is key because even though you are allowed to eat whatever you want, people are still able to lose weight with this diet because you're only allowed to take five bites. So by learning this, you'll be okay with all foods and you'll stop associating some foods with negative feelings and stop feeling guilty when you eat certain foods. Once you realize that when you practice moderation when it comes to all sorts of foods, you'll be able to lose weight. So the takeaway from this one is that you need to be mindful when you're eating. Don't take too many bites, but at the same time, don't count your bites. The second diet, which was designed by a cardiologist, is the South Beach diet. The South Beach diet is a low-fat, low-carb, high-protein diet. This diet works mainly because of the high protein content and also because when you eliminate carbohydrates, chances are you eliminate all foods that are high in calories. So the major takeaway from this one is that by eating lots of protein and also eliminating carbohydrates, you'll be able to lose weight. But I don't want you to eliminate all carbohydrates. So the best thing that you can do is eat complex carbohydrates and uh, increase your protein intake as well. Now, it also works because of low fat intake and because fats are high in calories. But I would never advise you to avoid all fats. You can go for the healthy fats like nuts, olive oil, and avocado. Then the third diet is the keto ketogenic diet. Keto mainly advocates for high fat, low carb, and a little protein. So as you can see, this is the complete opposite of this. This is low fat and this is high fat, but they both work. Now, one of the things that I want you to keep in mind with all these diets is that you're practicing a calorie deficit in one way or another. So for this one is by just reducing your portions. For this one is mainly by eliminating carbohydrates, uh, reducing your fat intake. For this one is also by going low carb. So with the ketogenic diet, what you can learn is that Fats are healthy. And one of the reasons why fat are good for weight loss is because they drag themselves through the intestines. They don't just pass through the intestines very fast. And because of that, they keep you full for long. So eating the right fats it will be good for your overall health and good for weight loss as well. So what you can learn from the keto diet is that you still need all three foods but this one actually you end up eating very little carbohydrates and that's why you'll find that some people struggle with fatigue and just feelings of headaches and other problems because of the low carb intake. I'm not a big fan of the ketogenic diet but it's so popular. So the main takeaway for me here is that fats are good for you. Then for the soup diet, 
This basically is taking soup, cabbage soup, soup for seven days. Now you're allowed to have a few bites here and there, but your main meal is cabbage soup. So the main takeaway, the simplest way to look at it is that cabbage soup is good for weight loss. So you can add it to your diet. The other thing to keep in mind is to look at what is cabbage soup. Cabbage soup is a drink or a beverage that is very low in calories. And that means that if you take drinks that are low in calories, you'll be able to lose weight. So don't just stick to cabbage soup. You can also take bone broth and other types of soup. Then the final diet is the zone diet, which to me is the best diet out of all these. The zone diet is a combination of carbs. So it says you take 40% carbs and mostly complex carbohydrates, high fiber carbohydrates, then protein, 30%, and fats, 30%. Now you may wonder, why is this a fat diet? And the only reason why some experts may say zone diet is a fat diet is because it's, it's too strict when it comes to the percentages. It wants you to stick to 40%, 30%, and 30% fats, which can be tiresome and can make you quit along the way. But all in all, the zone diet is very close to what I advocate for in the six weeks weight loss challenge because i advocate you eat for complex carbohydrates eat enough protein and healthy fats as well the other problem with the zone diet is that it will also tell you to eat at this particular time this particular time and uh, eat like six times a day so because of that it may not work for everyone but i wouldn't say that this is not a diet you can follow long term if you learn how to eyeball your portions you can actually follow the zone diet long term. And the main takeaway from this one is that when you combine the right uh, proportions of macronutrients, you'll be able to lose weight and control hunger. And studies have also shown that the zone diet is great for helping reduce inflammation and improve your heart health. So it offers many health benefits besides just helping you lose weight. So these are the five main diets. If you want, you can do more research on them. But I don't want you to research these diets with the goal of trying to do exactly what they ask you to do. Because if you do this, chances are you're going to suffer deficiencies. If you're only having 10 bites a day, you're going to suffer deficiencies. You're going to develop eating disorders. If you only eat this, chances are you'll give up along the way because we live in a world full of carbohydrates and you will need them at some point. And you also need healthy fats for your overall health, for fighting inflammation, and for your brain health. And for the ketogenic diet, you also need carbohydrates. For the soup diet, obviously, it's not something you can do long term unless you just want to put your health at risk. And also, uh, just it's not something you can do long term. So this is not even an option. The zone diet, it's doable if you learn how to eyeball your portions. The only problem is knowing the exact proportions in every meal, which can be difficult. Now, the diet that I would advocate for, obviously, is my diet, the six weeks weight loss challenge. I've seen all these diets and I've seen many other diets. And the six weeks weight loss challenge is nothing original. I just didn't sit down and come up with this diet by myself. I looked at all diets out there, the Mediterranean diet, the zone diet, the keto diet, and designed it in a way that you'll be able to follow it long term. So if you're looking for a diet plan that you can follow long term, check out the six weeks weight loss challenge in the link in the description below. And if, even if you're not happy with this diet, I'll give you a full refund. So check it out right now in the link in the description below. I hope the video was helpful. Take one thing, at least one thing from this video and apply it in your diet right now. I'll see you in the next video.